Okay, hopefully this isn't like angled up in my nose. I don't know. I just wanted to be in the camera frame because I feel like I'm never in the camera frame because my stool is too tall and my tripod is broken. Oh, she's out of focus. I think I was wearing this exact outfit in the last video I filmed where I was sitting in this spot. I wear this outfit a lot on my days off, so judge me. I just, oh, Lizzie McGuire, you are an outfit repeater. But anyway, yeah, I just sprayed on a cologne. It smells so good. So like if you guys have boyfriends, I don't know what that's like. Um, it's the Calvin Klein Eternity and it's the intense one. Really good. I wear cologne sometimes just because I like the smell of a man, but I don't actually have a man, so I just spray it on myself. And my makeup looks kind of gross. I took like two naps today and this is just what we're going with. I was gonna do a makeup video, but I really don't feel like taking off this makeup and I feel like this is good enough to pass for a regular video. So we're just gonna figure something out. That just kind of like went everywhere. And it's been like a month since I posted, so I need to post something. Otherwise, I'm gonna get into my funk of like not posting and we can't have that. Well, I filmed a story time video and here's the real tea with it. I filmed like a story time mukbang video and the little story time I told in it was like this terrible experience I had with this guy. It was like a terrible, should I just call it what it is? It was like a terrible hookup. And I was like, oh, the guy doesn't follow me on social media and I haven't seen him in like months. This will be a funny story to tell. And like, he'll never see it and I won't use his name in it. So like, he'll never know it's about him. And then of course, literally a few days after I filmed it and edited it and everything, and I like put a lot of editing into it. I run into him in public twice, twice after not seeing him for like, eight months, seven months, something ridiculous. So I was like, maybe this is a sign that I shouldn't post this video. So I didn't. So we're not posting that video. We're just gonna make a new one. And I think I'm gonna be a basic YouTuber and just do like a get to know me type of tag. Do, do people even do that anymore? Like the tag videos, like the best friend tag and like all that stuff. Well, we're doing it today. We're gonna do the get to know me tag. Cause I feel like I post a lot of stuff on my channel, but you guys don't really, know me like that maybe you do i feel like we're on a level where you kind of know me but like do you though so we're just gonna do a get to know me video and it's just gonna be very laid back and chill and probably short open spotify and play all night longer to play spotify link your premium account first using the alexa app. Open Spotify. Okay. Do you think anyone else just get in phases or you get like a song stuck in your head? And then it's stuck in your head for forever? Because this is me right now. I played it when I was like walking home the other night and some guy like made fun of me. My neighbors probably think I'm so annoying. I don't even care anymore. Get to know me. Tag, oh my God, it must still be a thing. And it's from 2019. Where did you grow up? Number one. Um, I grew up in, uh, how, I guess, well, I Baltimore, Maryland. I grew up in Middle River though. So it's like um, kind of close to, oh, oh my God, I'm like burping from this Red Bull. I grew up in Middle River, Maryland, which is, because Baltimore has like little areas in it. Um, it's closer to like Essex, which is like kind of close to the city, but also like close to the water. Um, so yeah, I grew up in Middle River, Maryland. It's a little, it's a little, uh, <laughs> it's a little redneck, but it's fine. Where do you currently live? So I currently, I still live in Baltimore, um, but I live in Towson now. Um, so Towson is just like a little bit farther north and west, northwest. Who is your first best friend? Who is your first best friend? So does this mean like who was my first best friend? Like who was my first best friend I ever had? Or who is like my number one best friend? Cause I don't really play that game. Like I don't, I have like a lot of friends um, and I don't really feel like I have like a number one best friend. I don't know. Like I hang out with a lot of people um, and I feel like we're all pretty tight. So I don't really have like a number one best friend. I mean, I could be really cheesy and be like my mom. 
because I feel like she, like, or honestly, my mom and dad, they're both, I'm really tight with both of them. How tall are you? I'm 5'7". Dogs or cats? Definitely dogs. The funniest moment throughout high school. <laughs> Is it so bad that I literally like blocked out high school in my brain? I was just like, whew, like, high school was traumatizing, so I was just blocked that shit out. What was the funniest moment in high school? I've had like crazy moments. I don't know if they're necessarily like funny. I mean, there probably is like funny moments. I just can't even think of them. I feel like <laughs> what's really funny is that like, oh my God, should I even expose myself? No, I shouldn't expose myself. You know what? Never mind. <laughs> uh, I was going to say like, what was funny is that like, and I, I just remember this because I was like talking about it the other day. I was like at my prom and I was so drunk because <laughs> we like got drunk on a party bus to go to prom so and i was like with my boyfriend at the time and i was like with all my friends that i hung out with but i was class president and i was with the i think he was like the vice president or whatever but we like hung out a lot um like i shouldn't say like a lot but anyway he was like in my same circle of friends so we were all together and like we got like really drunk on the way to prom and we were like still kind of coordinating the thing, but we weren't really talking to like our faculty. Um, and then a guy from our bus, wait, he rode our bus, right? I think he rode our bus. A guy that we were friends with, and I think he rode our bus. You clearly, I was drunk. He got caught because he was like drunk and acting stupid. And I just remember like the principal pulling me aside and pulling like the vice president aside and like trying to have a serious conversation with us and i remember being like so drunk and i just kept like looking at like the vice president guy and i was like oh my god like <laughs> are they gonna notice that i'm like drunk and i'm like trying to be so serious i don't know if that's necessarily funny but it happened what year were you born i was born in 1997. are you in and have you gone to college yes i graduated from towson university last year what is your favorite drink is this like alcoholic drink? Is that alcoholic for me to think of that? <laughs> I, so if I'm like going to a restaurant, I'll get a Diet Coke. And if I'm going out to like a bar, I'll get um, like a vodka and Red Bull or a vodka soda. I'm like really basic. What is your spirit animal and why? You know what? I don't know. Um, but people always say that like, I make them think of like a wolf. I don't really know why. I think cause like I am kind of standoffish when you first meet me and I don't, I seem very like lone wolfish, but then you meet me and I'm like cool and very lovable, kind of like a dog, but like also I'll kind of kill you. That's why they call me the lone wolf on my back there. Oh, number 11, you're wearing perfume. What scent is it? <laughs> why does it know me like that? I don't like that. And actually I'm wearing cologne. I already told you guys I'm wearing Calvin Klein Eternity. It's really good. It's kind of strong, but like, I kind of like it. Tea or coffee? Ooh, definitely coffee. What are your life goals? Girl, that is too deep of a question. I don't even know. What sports do you play? Have you played? <laughs> um, no, actually when I was younger, I used to play sports. I used to play like soccer, softball. I used to do figure skating. Everyone's always shook by that one. All throughout high school, I did track um, and I tried to do cross country, but that was just too much for me. Um, I still run, not to like the extreme that I used to in high school. I actually used to be kind of, I used to be kind of good at running. I mean, like out of the whole track team, I was the worst, but like I look back and I'm like, dang, I did pretty good. Like there was like a day that we ran like nine miles or something. And the fact that I even like kept up with my friends is honestly amazing. Have any books you read changed your life? Yes. Oh my God. Um, so I really like, oh, what's that one? He's just not that into you. That one literally changed my whole life. Um, I don't know if it's for the better though. <laughs> I think it's for the better. Cause I feel like I just don't waste my time panicking over guys anymore. I feel like I used to panic over if a guy was into me or not, or like why he wasn't answering me or whatever. And honestly, like it's a really good book. It's a good read if like you feel like you're boy crazy. Cause it kind of just basically says if a guy's into you, you'll know. That's it. Um, also, I used to struggle with depression a lot when I was younger and I really liked 
um, The Perks of Being a Wallflower. That was a really good book. And um, it's kind of a funny story. Those are both like really good. I still go back and I read those a lot. And I have a lot of like poetry books that I like to read. I really like R.M. Drake. He's a really good author, so yeah. What is your favorite movie? Definitely Scream. I feel like, <laughs> so this is so weird. Scream is like my comfort movie. So you know how girls like to like curl up with some snacks and watch like The Notebook? I like to curl up and watch Scream. I'm like a weirdo. I also really like like, um, just like classic horror movies. I like Nightmare on Elm Street. Um, I'm trying to think of other ones that I like. Just like really good horror movies. I don't know why they're just like comforting to me. I'm weird. Who are your favorite YouTubers? Oh, that's a good question. Um, so I actually kind of watch like all different types of YouTube videos. Most people think I just watch beauty YouTube videos and that's really not the case. Um, I mean, I do, but not like only beauty YouTube videos. Um, as far as like the beauty community, I usually watch like, I like Jeffree Star. I, who else do I watch? Watching more. Tati Westbrook, I really like her. As far as just like other channels though, I watch like Chris Clemens, um, Cody Ko, oh my god, Cody Ko is so funny. <laughs> um, I'm sure I'm just like freezing over people because I'm an idiot, but I'm, those are just some of the main ones that I watch and I like get excited when they post. Oh, duh, Shane Dawson, hello. <laughs> I've been watching him for like 13 years, ridiculous. Do you speak any languages and how well? English, that's it. I'm really boring. I know like some Spanish, but not enough to like have a conversation. Um, are you single or taken? Extra single, single as a Pringle. What is your idea of a dream date? Um, honestly, and like, <laughs> this annoys people so much that this is my idea of a dream date. Just chilling out, like watching movies, eating some pizza, like, it's just like relaxing and getting to talk to someone and <laughs> this sounds so ghetto, but just like, I don't even like drinking. I just like smoking. So like if we have like a little, little hit and have some pizza and we can watch some like scary movies and just like chill, like that is like my dream date. I honestly really like the drive-in. So I like going to the drive-in. What else do I like doing? Um, I like going on like little adventures. I really like going to go look at the stars. Just like very laid back things, um, which is weird because I feel like a lot of guys think I like to go on like crazy fancy dates and I really don't. They actually make me really anxious when guys like ask me out on a serious date. I just like, it makes me feel weird. Like I just really like to relax. Like even when people come over my house, I'm very chill. Um, I just like to feel like comfortable. How long was your longest relationship? Um, about four years. I think it was like, three, it was a little over three and a half. Like it was closer to four. Um, yeah. How would you describe your fashion sense? Um, <laughs> like, oh my God. We went out the other night and someone called me Avril Lavigne. So there you have it. I feel like my fashion sense is like, like it, an alt rock girl that like never really got out of that alt rock phase but like is in 2019 so like a fashion nova version of an alt rock girl if that makes sense because our all i wear is like black and gray and um but i don't wear like t-shirts like i still kind of wear like like tank tops and things and i'm still kind of like showy um but it's still very like grungy yeah I have the weirdest style of all my friends. It's like definitely the hardest to explain. But then once you know me and you know my style, you'll be able to like walk past a window and find something and you're like, that's something Liv would wear. What is your go-to hairstyle? Um, I feel like it's kind of like this. I mean, usually I'll do like big curls in my hair. I don't really like my hair being straight. I guess this is kind of straight. I normally do big curls in my hair and kind of let it do whatever it wants to do. Cause I don't like my hair like straight, but I also don't like it like, tight curly. I like it more of like a loose type of curl. I definitely don't like it up. 
because I feel like my hairline's receding. And um, my friends tell me I'm crazy for saying that. But yeah, so we don't like makeup. up. How many siblings do you have? Um, so I have two older sisters. What is your go-to fast food order? Girl, that is such a loaded question. Like, where are we going? I feel like my, where do I go to the most for fast food? I feel like Taco Bell maybe? No. Yeah. Lately it's been Taco Bell. It's always like a mix between Taco Bell and McDonald's, but lately it's been Taco Bell. And I feel like I normally get like a, either like a cheesy gordita crunch or a crunch wrap supreme. And then I'll usually get like the chips and cheese. And then um, those little like cinnamon twisty thingies. I really like those. And then I usually get like a Baja Blast or like a lemonade. So that's my go-to order. Do you use a PC or a Mac? Is that even a question? Does anyone even still use PC anymore? Do you have any bad habits? Uh, probably yes. <laughs> I'm trying to think of them though. I used to bite my nails a lot, which is why I got fake nails. Because whenever I have fake nails, I don't bite my nails. I feel like drinking caffeine is a really bad habit that I have. Um, because I'm always drinking caffeine, like whether it's like, hello, I'm drinking a Red Bull right now, or I'm drinking, I'm usually drinking like coffee, um, or Diet Coke or something. So I definitely have like a caffeine addiction. Tell us one thing about you that we wouldn't know. Mm, I'm left-handed. What is your favorite Netflix show? I really like Stranger Things. I'm excited for the new 13 Reasons Why to come out, but I don't think that would be my favorite. Like I like it, but it's not my favorite. I just watched the new Sabrina. I liked that. I also don't think it's like my favorite though. Like I liked it. Um, Us was pretty good. Um, yeah, I think Stranger Things might take the, take the thing, take the, take the cake. Is that the saying? My mom says I'm so bad with things, but I try to like insert them in my everyday life, but I think it's take the cake. Take the cake. Who was your childhood best friend? Ooh, okay. Easy. I had two. <laughs> and like, oh my God, I don't think they watch my YouTube videos, but um, we used to make YouTube videos together. It was uh, these two girls. I don't want to put them on blast because I don't know, they might not like me mentioning them. I don't know, some people get weird if like I mention them on my YouTube or whatever. Um, but it's these two girls, I can say their first names, right? Brie and Emily, like those are basic names. Um, I still like talk to them sometimes. I mean, like I see them out sometimes. Um, we were like so tight, literally up until like, honestly through high school. Yeah, we were literally so tight, even through high school. Um, even though we, we like went to different schools and stuff, we didn't drift until um, like and like farther into high school. Um, I guess kind of like after freshman year and stuff, like we started to drift. And then college, we just like I kind of stopped seeing them. I don't really talk to them that much anymore. I'll still like send them happy birthday and stuff on their birthday, just because like I know when their birthday is and like we literally grew up together. And I was over their house all the time, like. <laughs> all the time oh my god i almost just dropped my phone on the ground and that would be so loud um but yeah i hope they're doing great um you probably think i'm such a hot mess i've always been a hot mess though um yeah we would just like we would do the craziest stuff together and i would try to like film it and i'd be like oh my god we're gonna have like a sick youtube channel one day here i am guys <laughs> Sitting in my living room, filming a get to know me tag. All right, what's your favorite genre of film and why? I like horror movies. Um, I think it's because I like special effects makeup and there's like a lot of special effects makeup in there. What's your coffee order? I normally get like a sugar-free, like vanilla or sugar-free coconut or sugar-free something. Um, coffee with almond milk, pretty basic. What is one thing you wish people knew about you? Oh, that's a good one. Um, this is gonna sound kind of deep. <sighs> I wish people knew that like, 
I'm standoffish for a reason, <laughs> if that makes sense. Like, I feel like a lot of people meet me and I come off a little standoffish. Um, and I'm kind of hard to get to know, especially like, I'm thinking more along the lines of like dating. I mean, I guess friendships too, but I think a lot of people are intimidated by me just because I come off a little standoffish. Um, and I'm just like that because I've been through a lot and then people meet me and like they figure out what I've been through and um, they understand why I am the way I am. And I'm just hard to get to know and I realize I'm hard to get to know and I'm trying to work on that. So I'm worth it once you get past my little walls, but there's definitely walls to get past. What is the biggest struggle you overcame? Well, these questions are getting serious. It went from like, what's your favorite Netflix show to what's the biggest struggle you overcame in your life? Like what? Um, there's a lot. <laughs> I've gone through a lot, like I just said. Um, I think honestly, the one that like changed my life the most, like that I even like people who have known me like my whole life, like obviously my parents have known me my whole life, hello they saw like a huge difference in me and they know that that's like what changed me um bullying i got bullied really bad in high school like um and i think that's probably why that honestly goes back to like the other thing i just said i think that's probably why i'm so standoffish and why i'm so skeptical of people and why i keep my circle of friends very small um and just like i had like a really bad experience with bullying in high school and maybe I'll make a video about it one day when I'm feeling up to it. It's something I really don't talk about a lot just because I'm the type of person like I, I just don't like talking about things that were depressing to me or upsetting to me. I just have a hard time with it. Um, and like, I'd rather just be like, okay, pretend that didn't happen. Um, but yeah, I went through a lot of bullying in high school and it was like cyberbullying, bullying in person. And it was like to the point where like, I did not want to go to school anymore. I was like, I don't want to go to school. Like I went to the principal's office about it and they were like, there's nothing we can do about it. And, um, yeah, it was just something that I feel like really changed me as a person. And, but it also made me a lot stronger. So that's why, um. If you're friends with me, like, you'll see me get very up in arms when I see, like, people pick on someone who maybe is a little different um, for no reason at all. I mean, believe me, I'll stand my ground. If someone picks on me now, I'm like, hey, you better watch out. You poke a bit, but poke a, I don't know any sayings. But anyway, if you come for me, I'm going to come for you. But if you start picking on someone for no reason, that's not cool. What is your favorite color? Black. Wow, okay guys. Oh no, wait, I missed one. I missed a couple. Um, what was your dream job as a kid? So I used to want to be a veterinarian so bad. <laughs> I don't know why, I guess just because I really liked animals and I actually like specifically really liked horses. I actually used to, oh my God, that's a sport. I forgot that I did, hello, I was like a, uh, I like rode horses or whatever. What's that called? A question. Uh, a whatever. Anyway, rode horses. Um, until I got like thrown off one and I like messed up my back. Um, anyway, I got thrown off one and I like messed up my back. And after that, I was like, no thanks. It just wasn't it for me. And it's like so much work to become a veterinarian. No, ma'am. Well, I feel like that's kind of it. We answered a lot of questions. If you, could, I mean. I feel like that was stuff about me that I don't even know. But yes, so that's it for today's video. We just did the get to know me tag. Um, hopefully you guys feel like you know me a little bit better. I, where was I going with that? I just was like, hi. Okay. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. That's where I was going with that. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. <laughs> Why do I act like I'm high? I'm not even high, like what? Um, yeah, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Um, let me know if you like these kind of videos where it's like a little laid back. We just do some like Q&A and some chill out, like talking about me, typical Leo. Yeah, so that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, give this video a thumbs up if you 
liked it. I was going to say if you enjoyed it, but we don't want to say enjoyed twice. Let me know what kind of videos you guys would want to see. I'm probably going to do more makeup videos soon. I just didn't really feel like taking off my makeup and then putting it back on and then taking it off again to go to sleep. Um, but yeah. Alright, I will catch you guys in the next one.